In my main channel segment, I said it was looking pretty grim for Donald Trump and that his chances were slim that Joe Biden may take a victory, but it's going to, you know, if Donald Trump's going to win, it's going to have to be through the courts. That's still true, but now it's looking a lot better for Donald Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a major story here. This information, uh, I don't, I don't know what's going to lead to necessarily, but we have this tweet from Robbie Starbuck. One Michigan County clerk caught a glitch in tabulation software. So they hand counted votes and found the glitch caused 6,000 votes to go to Biden and Democrats that were meant for Trump and Republicans. 47 counties use this software. All must check now. I'm going to play for you this clip so you can hear it straight from the clerk. If all this wasn't enough, in Antrim County, ballots were counted for Democrats that were meant for Republicans, causing a 6,000 vote swing against our candidates. The county clerk came forward and said tabulating software glitched and caused a miscalculation of the votes. Since then, we have now discovered that 47 counties use this same software in the same capacity. Antrim County had to hand count all of the ballots, and these counties that use this software need to closely examine their results for similar discrepancies. The people of Michigan deserve a transparent and open process. Right now, Joe Biden is leading Donald Trump by less than 150,000 votes. Do you know what 6,000 times 47 is? Why, it's just over 280,000. Not all of these districts are going to have the same discrepancy, but this is massive. Now we need to figure out who made the software, who's using it, and that's it. I'm sorry, this is going to get nuts. Donald Trump needs to file every possible legal claim he can. This is not fraud. You want to talk about voter fraud and say there's no evidence of fraud. Fine, I don't care. Evidence of failure and impropriety. End of story. If this one district swung 6,000 votes, Trump needs only about 138,000 now to win Michigan, let alone any other state. Uh, You know what, man? I believe we need a hard hand count of every single state, the whole thing all over again. It's not going to happen in certain states. Maybe that makes sense. You don't need to do uh, New Jersey and California. Okay, fine. Maybe maybe New York, but New York was closer than we realized. Maybe just the battleground states. This is this is insane. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got a bigger article on this. That's uh, not uh, the information isn't absolutely complete, but they say a mess in Michigan computer glitch program used in 32 counties. We now know it's 47 plus 138,000 sudden votes for Biden. I believe that the votes for Biden they've reported was a glitch. You know what, man? I won't accept that. They said it was a reporting error. I said, okay, at first. Now we're seeing a reporting error was supposed to help Trump. This is basically confirming that these ballots weren't, uh, or at least some of these ballots aren't supposed to be going for Joe Biden. This is bad. This is really bad. I don't know what's going to happen, but I don't think Trump should concede. And I think he needs to take this to the court uh, to the best of his abilities. We're looking at uh, to, in, in every possible venue. We're going to see it in Pennsylvania. We got to see it in Nevada. We got to see it in, in Arizona. And um, I think Joe Biden should do similarly. But this is crazy. They say they, they basically give us the same story. The Detroit Free Press reports Antrim County Clerk Cheryl Guy, a Republican who ran unopposed and won a third four year term Tuesday in the strongly GOP county, said results on electronic tapes and a computer card were accurate. But when it but then it appeared the results were somehow scrambled after the cards were transported in sealed bags from township precincts to county offices and downloaded onto a computer. This makes no sense. I'm sorry, man. Electronic tapes and computer cards were accurate, but then after they were transported, could it be swapped out sealed bags? Could it be oopsie or could it be a virus malicious? We need the DOJ. We need a massive investigation now. Move in now. We cannot allow evidence to be destroyed or changed. This better get cleared up. Heaven help us if they don't do something now. The newspaper reported Trump won the county in 2016 with around 62 percent of the vote compared with Hillary Clinton, who received around 33 percent. Trump defeated Clinton by around 4,000 votes. But on Wednesday, county election results showed Democrat Joe Biden leading the president by little more than 3,000 votes, with 98% reporting. 
Officials did not check the results before they were posted. Later, Guy asked, how could Democrats take over this county? Guy's staff are currently going back over the tapes containing the election results and recounting the numbers manually to make sure they're still make sure they're accurate. Tom McMillan, a former state lawmaker from Oakland County and a member of the State Board of Education, told the Detroit Free Press that in his estimation, both Trump and James could each receive a net gain of 4,000 to 5,000 votes. Other candidates would also be effective, and it goes with much broader, potentially stretching to dozens of other counties. I reported early on, we had a story out of Oakland County, which is the Detroit area. They called the race for a Democrat, and the Republican there said, I would not call for a recount. They then notified him a glitch meant he was actually winning by a thousand votes. My friends, this is the nightmare scenario tenfold, 100 fold. Michigan is falling into chaos. Donald Trump must file suits now. The DOJ better get on this now. So how did this happen? Guy said she's working with a company that keeps the election equipment to find out. It could have also happened due to an unspecified human error. Now, journalists, state officials, and others are also questioning if this error has occurred elsewhere. As the red states, Nick Arama pointed out, seems why it happened is just as important as recounting to make sure the problem hasn't been duplicated elsewhere. While it was obvious in Antrim, which flagged the problem, it might not be as obvious elsewhere. Trump, call for a hand recount right now. Joe Gum, a local news anchor with KXXV TV, tweeted about the state's use of the same election source program and how 33 other counties use that potentially compromised program to compile their vote totals. Update. The Antrim County County Clerk's Office in Michigan told me the election program uh, it used, election source, had issued uh, had issues and the office is now reviewing 16,047 total votes. The source I spoke with said she believes 33 other counties use the program. We now know it's 47. Political commentator Den- Dennis Lennox is also questioning the vote totals from other counties that also use the software. Trump did not lose Antrim County in Michigan. It is now confirmed that 32 other counties use the same software as Antrim. This is this is nuts. This is nuts. Meanwhile, another glitch may also be responsible for the 138,339 votes that went to Biden in Michigan early Wednesday morning. The Federalist noted that Biden somehow got all the votes and Trump got none in an overnight vote dump. Even though this error was found and reported by the Federalist Sean Davis after checking the New York Times website, Twitter censored his tweet. The Daily Wire's Matt Walsh also noted the, the vote dump, and Twitter users could neither like nor share the information. The Federalist reported the vote dump was the result of an alleged typo, an extra zero that had been tacked onto Biden's vote total in Shiawassee County, Michigan. The error was only found after Davis and other social media users noted how suspicious the vote totals looked. This is nuts, man. This is crazy. This is absolutely crazy. This is it. They've got to go through everything now. We are going to see a, we, we need to see a hard manual vote count of everything now. There's not there's not going to be any trust in these elections. Every house race. We've got to recount everything. We've got to recount everything by hand with with what with poll with 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 count with watchers. Check this out. Pennsylvania Democrats ask Supreme Court to wait before taking up ballot deadline extension case. The lawsuit may become irrelevant. Nope. Absolutely not. <clears throat> We're going to be going all the way with this. This is really scary. Um, you know, in my earlier segment, I was starting to feel like, oh, it looks like Trump's winding down. It's starting to feel like it's going to go to Biden. And then, you know, they caught, they, they caught glitches. No evidence of fraud. Don't need it. The software is broken. It's all that matters. The votes were taken from Donald Trump. 47 other counties now being reported. And what other states and counties used this software everywhere? I am personally demanding this be investigated now. Not that it's worth that much, but let me tell you, if we do not investigate this and Joe Biden wins, there will be chaos in this country. We, we need to trust our election system. We cannot allow this. Democrats are already trying to stop, you know, these these uh extension suits that are happening in Pennsylvania, thinking they're going to win. I don't know what's going to happen. But at this point, I can't say um, clearly that Trump's going to lose. I think now we have hard evidence that Trump may be right. Not that there's a conspiracy or anything, but if this software is busted, 
it's going to be bad. Now, it's possible maybe the software gave something to Biden uh, or took something from Biden. Sure. I don't know. We better get on it. We better get on it now. And Trump's people, you better get on it. Republicans, you better get on it. I'm getting worried, man. I'm getting real worried. Um, We've already seen riots on the left. We've seen protests from the right. The right, of course, hasn't gotten violent or anything like that. But I don't think Joe Biden won. Not right now. I mean, they haven't called it for him, right? The the Democrats are trying to claim he won, but there cannot be a, a victor declared. Michigan is looking crazy. Some people are saying, how could Trump have lost this county? Good question. Could it be? How could Trump have lost Michigan? That's I, I, I didn't expect this. You know why? Because Michigan is the, is the state that most of all would have voted for Trump. Something's wrong. Everybody needs to check their vote and make sure it was counted properly. I'm getting freaked out, man. I got a couple more segments coming up in a few minutes and I'll see you all shortly.